So the other day I did a video on the huge firmware update that uh, DJI rolled out for the Mini 4 Pro. One of the components of the firmware upgrade though did catch my eye and it actually got flagged when I was attaching the Goggles 2 to the Mini 4 Pro uh, out in the park and I was coming up with a remote ID error uh, that was preventing me from taking off. And it actually wanted me to attach the Goggles 2 to the Fly app to get the uh, GPS component. Now that's obviously a remote ID requirement mostly for the US, although Remote ID is coming to the UK at some point soon. But when I double checked all of the elements of the firmware update, sure enough, there was this one component that says when using the plus battery, Remote ID will be activated. That I thought was quite interesting. A lot of people might not be aware of the fact that if you are using the plus battery, the uh, more powerful battery that gives you a longer flight time, then of course that takes the weight of the drone over 250 grams, which then under US rules would require remote ID to be enabled. So here I am in the UK and here I am with a Mini 4 Pro and here I am with a plus battery and an Android phone. And you can get apps that will enable you to see the remote ID information of any drone flying in the area. This is a consequence of remote ID and you need to be aware of it. But anyway, today I don't want to get into that discussion. All I want to see is whether or not remote ID is enabled when using a normal battery, whether it genuinely is triggered when putting the plus battery in here in the UK, outside of the US, and what happens when you put the uh, standard smaller battery back in again. And each time I will be checking to see whether or not remote ID is being triggered and see if I can capture it on my phone. So that's the plan. Let's get on with it. My sister's little dog has seen a drone for the first time. <laughs> She's not happy. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. So we've got that going. Let's now open up my app. Sis, if you can just take the remote control. There we go, so you hang on to that. And just keep your eye on that, of course. Okay, so at the moment with standard battery, I'm not seeing any remote ID information. Assuming that's it, yeah, drones around, zero drones around. Okay, that's it, yeah, it couldn't be more simple. Right, let's bring that little drone straight back in. We'll swap over to the plus battery. Okay, so home point updated. Righty-ho, okay, so if you can just hold that top. Well, according to this, there is no remote ID information being broadcast at the moment. Okay, with my first test there, didn't get remote ID info with or without the plus battery. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that if the drone is flying outside of the US, remote ID isn't actually uh, triggered? Or is it that the app that I've got so all of that was earlier today and at first it did appear to me that there was no remote ID information being broadcast at all. But late this evening I've been playing around with it and doing some more testing in my dining room um, because another way that you can actually test for remote ID information is to use your phone or your tablet's uh, Wi-Fi function and search for available Wi-Fi networks. If remote ID is broadcasting then it will show up as a Wi-Fi network. And suddenly whilst I was playing around with the, uh, the Mini 4 Pro there it was, showing up on my phone. And of course, this absolutely confused me, and I simply figured that the drone scanner app just hadn't been working properly earlier. So I opened up the app and checked that, and sure enough, now the app was also displaying all my drone's information. So I was a bit confused. I got the drone, uh, picked it up, took it out into the back garden, and put it up in the air. But I could not work out why the app seemed frozen. It was still showing my drone as grounded, and the Wi-Fi network was no longer showing. So I landed the drone, brought it back inside the house, powered it up again, and lo and behold, the remote ID was broadcasting yet again. And of course, then it hit me. Uh, I checked with DJI, and the current requirements to enable remote ID to be broadcast are, one, the drone has remote ID functionality installed, which of course we know the Mini 4 Pro has. Uh, two, the drone is within the airspace of the United States. And three, the drone motors are started up. So whilst the new firmware function has obviously switched on remote ID if you put in a, uh, a plus battery, it won't actually broadcast it if it knows you're not in US airspace. And of course it can only know that if it has GPS locked. 
And that is why it showed up uh, this evening when I had the motors running inside the house, because crucially, there was no GPS. The moment the GPS got locked on, the remote ID turned off. Now, for good measure, I repeated the inside uh, startup test with the standard battery, and the remote ID did not start up at any point. I turned it off, put the plus battery back in, started it up, and sure enough, the remote ID started up again. So, what was interesting though, was how the app showed the record of the drone with the time elapsed, increasing as time went by. So once it's seen the drone, it remembers it. And so I would therefore say, if you're flying with the plus battery and you start the motors up before the GPS has locked, then Remote ID will start broadcasting until it gets that full GPS lock. And at that point, the Remote ID will stop. But that record will be visible to anybody that happened to be scanning at the time. I know it's not a massively likely scenario or a major problem, but it is a good point to know. So look, that's it. Um, for those of you wondering what is actually broadcast with Remote ID in its current form, I got this from DJI. You have the uh, drone ID or the drone serial number, uh, the, the drone's location and altitude, uh, the drone's velocity or speed, uh, the control station or pilot's location and altitude or elevation, uh, timestamp, and its emergency status. Now, despite the latest consultation uh, by the CAA being out at the moment, I have to say that to me seems more like uh, a simple outline of their intentions that will be rolled out regardless of whatever we say. Remote ID will be coming to the UK. I'm absolutely positive of that. Whether it will require the same information, we're going to have to wait and see, but hopefully, at least now, um, you all know uh, both users in the UK and around the world, you know that the Mini 4 Pro is definitely broadcasting remote ID if you put in the plus battery. And if you're not in the US and it's got GPS lock, you won't. Anyway, look, as ever, hope it's been useful. Give me a little thumbs up. Help the video along. Until next time, have fun. Happy flying.